Hey, it's Brickzar, and today we're going to be looking at a vintage Lego train set. This is the Passenger Car Set 1. This was made in 2002. It was the Santa Fe Train Passenger Car Set 1, Set 10025. You could make two cars from this set. You can only make one at a time. In order to make two cars, as you see here, I'd have to have two sets. It's kind of like the creator sets, and this was a two-in-one. So you can make a mail car and a baggage car. So let's look at these two cars. All right, the first thing we're going to look at is the baggage car. This is unit number 606. I'd actually filmed this video, and then when I was editing, I accidentally erased it. So I'm trying to remember what I said about this. Well, anyway, the baggage car is the first one that you can build out of set 10025. It has more doors than any of the other models. It's got a set of um, four double doors, so eight total doors. There are a lot of rare elements in all of these sets because these are colors that weren't made anymore, the light grays and the dark grays. Uh, this one doesn't have as many of the pearl bricks here, uh, but these are rare and they look really nice on these Santa Fe trains. The roof elements here are the curved bricks, 2x3 curved bricks. Those are expensive parts and hard to find. You have printed, this is not printed, this is a sticker on a 1x10 light gray brick. And this is printed, I mean a stickered piece on a 1x4 tile. I think it looks really good. If you take the roof off, this middle part comes off and you can see our cargo. And get some light on it. Cargo is just a brown 2x3 brick and some chairs <laughs> they threw in there. The double doors open up here and there's some more cargo just some brown bricks. See if I can get where you can see it in there. But I think these are all, all these cars are just really nice looking. There's not going to be a lot of interior details, but they do look good um, from the outside especially. And this is the baggage car. And I'll say a few more things about it. All the colors in here are pretty much not made anymore. So that's why it's hard to complete these. So next up we'll look at the mail car. Don't roll away. <laughs> I'm on a little bit of a slope here. And this one's number 1928. It doesn't have as many doors and it uses a lot more of the pearl light gray uh, grill bricks there. Profile bricks, whatever they call those. And on this one, the, the entire roof can come off. And there's those uh, curved bricks I was talking about. There's a bunch of them in this set, but usually if you're looking, if you're wanting to complete this set and, or build it by the brick, those are like anywhere from two to four dollars each so, so that's a lot of the expense and then these pieces are expensive of course any of the stickered pieces and that's what i was missing on one of these i didn't have the one by ten with the santa fe logo on it so then we're looking here and here's the mail this is how i noticed the mail room there's mail everywhere in here it's got little workstations on the end this was something common in the 50s Let's get some more light on it. As trains, you had a mail car. Even freight trains uh, would be involved in the mail with the caboose. But uh, when the passenger service was heavy before they built the interstate highways, uh, this was a very common way to get mail from one city to the next. And the postal workers would work in the mail cars, uh, getting mail prepared as they were going down uh, down the railroad. So again, these are just, um, I really love these Santa Fe trains. They look really cool and sleek. And so we'll put this, uh, let's see, which one would come first? Would the mail car come first? I can't remember. Usually the, the way that they position the cars on a passenger train was the same. You might have a refrigerator car sometimes. Sometimes because rail service is fast, they might put re refrigerated items at the front of the train. And then you'd have your mail and baggage cars and then your passenger cars because sometimes passenger cars might be dropped off or 
put on another train and they needed to do that quickly but um so anyway that is the mail and the baggage car there's the mail car and there's the baggage car and this, again this is set one zero two two five and dash one is the baggage car dash two is the mail car and those are the two models that you could build with this one set but if you wanted to build both of them at the same time like i had here you'd have to have two of the sets so anyway so that's my review of this i am going to do a video of this running with the santa fe train and the other set that we're about to look at